Hello, my name is Rochelle Lum, and I am going to show you how I make a man doll. First, I take a strip of cotton, and I'm going to roll it in my fingers. And then I'm going to shape it into a spindle. So it becomes a spindle shape like this. And then I want to cut an egg shape from it. So it's going to look like this. A spindle shape to an egg shape. This is a man's head and it's a little bigger than a woman's head. So it's bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. So if you look in comparison, the woman's head is a little smaller. So yeah. So what you get is something that looks like this, bigger at the bottom and smaller at the top. Then I'm going to cover it with paper. This is washi paper. It's a special paper also for, for dow heads. It has a lot of fiber in it. It's from Japan. So a little glue there and this is going to seal it up. When the paper has fiber in it, a lot of, of long fibers in it, it's pretty strong. So when I want to manipulate it, it's not going to tear that easy. So what I'm going to do after I close it up, I'm going to twist both ends. After twisting both ends, I'm going to come up with something that looks like this. And this is a dowel head. Next, I'm going to show you how I do the hair. I take a blank a piece of paper. This kozo. This is for mulberry plants. It's pretty strong. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to crush it between my hair tool. You'll see that when I crush it down, it's, it doesn't tear. It's pretty strong. It can uh, withstand quite a lot. Okay. So now you see the hair lines. From this, I'm going to cut it into several pieces to make the guy's hair. I'm going to have a back hair. Whoops. Back hair. And then I'm going to have a piece that I'm going to do for the top knot, which I call the, for the chomake. So I'm going to show you how I do the top uh, back here first. Okay. Oops. Roll it. And then when I tie it together, it creates this kind of a shape that looks like this. So from this, I get this. So what you see is this here, this is the back here. Next, I'm going to show you how I do the chomake. I measure down two centimeters. I'm going to tear it here. Then I'm going to assemble it. A third. A third again. And then a half. And then I fold it over. So like this. And then I'm going to tie it. So when I tie it, I get a, again, like the face paper. And I do like a paper rope. I twist, I coil it between my fingers. And then I tie it. It's not cooperating. Okay, here we go. Okay. Then I do a square knot on top of it. So it looks something like this. Okay. 
So it becomes something that looks like this. All of those uh, gets put through the back here. The back here has a little spacing hole in it. The back here. A little hole here. A little tunnel hole. So what goes through it at first is the top of the head and then the toe my head is going to go through. So what you get is something that looks like this. So everything gets put inside except for the front little strand here. Then I'm going to close it up with again with paper that I go same as the face paper. I call and I make a, this a cause as uh, neck paper, which is the same as face paper, and I'm gonna seal them up. So when I wind all the way down, he's gonna look like this, the final product. Let me see it a little better. And then he's ready for his body. It's all the cotton. Uh, man's body is a little longer than women. They're 13 centimeters. Women's at about 12. And for a guy, he has no waist. There's no waist here. Okay? So, here's that. I'm sure to cut it. And then now I'll show you how I do the kimono. The kimono paper, I have a kimono paper lining to the kimono and on the garment. And I have my pattern. Take a scissor and I cut in for the sleeves. Okay. And then the kimono paper. Just place down on it. And then take a scissor and I cut in again on both sides for the sleeves. And this one I put bottom and inside. So it looks like this. Afterwards, I um, I take everything out and I recrease the paper so that the kimono paper now is going to get the lining paper inserted into it. So the lining paper here is going to get inserted into it with the undergarment going to the back. So what you get is actually something that looks like this. So the lining has been inserted into the kimono paper and the undergarment is placed behind it and it gets attached just to the top. And then I fold the collar down for the men kimono. The men kimono collar is a little bigger, wider than the woman kimono. About 0.8. And then I make sure that the lining and the undergarment all lines up with the kimono paper. Then he's ready for dressing. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the fun part. So if you're interested in wanting to take class and learn how to make a um, Japanese paper dowel, um, I teach classes along with a, another teacher named Yuri Nakamura. We teach at a Japanese cultural, com, cultural and community center of Northern California. So please contact them if you're interested in wanting to take classes. So here for the guy, I'm going to show you how I dress him. So in dressing the Tao, we also learn about, you know, just dressing kimono. Wearing the kimono, same, it's the same where you have to be sure you do left over right. So I come down for the shoulder. The guy's shoulder is a little wider than a woman. It's about a centimeter. And then shoulder to elbow. Shoulder to elbow. And he's just about done. Oops. Okay. 
only thing left for me to do is this OB. The OB for the guy um, is a little lower. It's right here. Women are more a little higher. Men's are about the waist height. And then to do the back, I make a paper knot. Okay, this paper knot. The ends, I am just going to fold to the back of the open. And then it gets placed to glue to the back here. So when everything is all glued together, He's going to look something like this. So thank you for coming to my demonstration lecture about how to make a mandow. Thank you and hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.